good morning. Let's talk about ratios and trying to solve some problems while using them. Let me just warn you, this one gets a little complicated, all right? The Business Direct Hotel caters to people who travel for different types of business. On Saturday night, there's not a lot of business travel, so the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to unoccupied rooms is two to five. Let's draw a tape diagram for that real quick. Occupied, unoccupied, two to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I can see what's going on and that helps me. However, on Sunday, the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to unoccupied rooms is six to one. Okay, let's draw that. Six occupied, boy, that's a lot more people in rooms. One, two, three, four, five, six to one. Okay. If the Business Direct Hotel has 432 occupied rooms on Sunday night, oh, 432 occupied rooms on Sunday, how many unoccupied rooms does it have Saturday night? Here's the question, that one. Hmm, well, let's figure out how many unoccupied rooms exist on Sunday night. So if this whole row is worth 432, remember to figure out the value of each box is going to be 432 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 72. So 72 goes in each box. Oh, also down here. Oh, yes, 72 unoccupied rooms makes a total of 72 plus 432, 504 rooms in the hotel. Well, if there's 504 rooms in the hotel, there's 504 rooms in the hotel the night before, okay? And notice these totals are the same. Because their ratios add up to the same number, we can use this same number in all of these boxes. You get the point. So how many occupied rooms? Well, there's two boxes, Miss D. So 72 times 2 is 144. Okay, how many unoccupied boxes? One, two, three, four, five. That's 360. So there are 360 unoccupied rooms on Saturday. Okay, awesome. All right, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Peter is trying to work out by completing sit-ups and push-ups. Oh, sit-ups and push-ups. Okay. I bet there's going to also be a total. Let's just see. In order to gain muscle mass, originally, Peter was completing five sit-ups for every three push-ups. Oh, that makes eight total. Five plus three is eight. But then he injured his shoulder. Oh no. After the injury, Peter completed the same number of repetitions, so his total will be the same. But he completed seven sit ups for every one push up. Okay, let's draw this out sit ups, push ups, five to three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, sit-ups and push-ups, seven to one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, that's a lot more sit-ups. Okay. How many push-ups was Peter completing before his injury? How many push-ups did he complete before his injury if now, during a training session, he did eight push-ups? Okay, we can figure this out eight push-ups. So go to our push-up line. All this has to be worth eight. Oh, there's only one box. <laughs> if this box is eight, what's this box? Yes, also eight. So all these boxes are eight. So eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight times seven 
56, 56, and 56 plus 8 is 64. Same amount of reps, remember? Okay. Now, oh, there's still the same number of boxes, eight boxes. So each box is still worth eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five times eight is 40. So he could do 40 sit-ups. How many push-ups? One, two, three. Th oh, three times eight is 24. Peter was, was able to do 24 push-ups. Okay, that's the answer there. All right, so write out your ratios, label them, draw your tape diagram, then start working with the knowledge you know and apply that information to knowledge you don't know to find what you're looking for. Good luck.